So I've started off by moisturizing my face using my Embrolis Light Cream Concentrate. I'm going to start off with the eyes and I'm going to apply some tape right underneath the lash line. As you can see there. Now I'm going to take my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and use that all over the lids as a base. I'm just going to apply it using a brush. And blending it with my finger. Using a fluffy brush, I'm going to take the shade Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and place that all over my crease. Now using a fluffy brush, I'm going to take the shade Coco Bear and place that on the outer V of the eye. Now taking a flat shader brush, I'm going to be placing Cosmopolitan, also from Makeup Geek, all over the lid. The color is, ooh, it's beautiful. Now using a small tapered blending brush, I'm going to be taking Drama Queen and just taking that on the outer V and a little bit into the crease. You can see I'm just gently packing it in because this is pigmented. I'm going to take a blending brush and blend that on the crease. And I'm going to go back in and build on that color. To help soften up the crease, I'm just going to take Peach Smoothie again. I'm going to take another Makeup Geek shadow, and this one's in Shimmer Shimmer. And I'm going to take that on the inner corner of the eye and underneath the brow. go ahead and line my eyes using the NYC liquid eyeliner. It's good to have the tape there because you can use it as a guideline for your line. Okay, now we're going to remove the tape. Before foundation, I'm going to go ahead and correct under my eyes using my Tarte Colored Clay CC Under Eye Corrector in light medium. I'm going to be moving along to foundation and I will be using my Bare Minerals Bare Skin and this is in the color Bare Natural number 07. And what I do is, I normally just stipple in some areas first, and then I will just buff it in. So I'm going to go in with my Real Technique sponge and blend the rest of the foundation in. I'm going to go ahead and conceal using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face using my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Silky Beige. I'm going to brighten under my eyes using my MAC Emphasize Sculpting Powder. I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow to both bronze and highlight. So I'm going to take the Sculpt shade and just bronze up my face, warm up my face a little bit. Then I'm going to take the highlight shade. Now 
Now I'm going to be taking a Makeup Geek blush, and this one is in Smitten. Woo! Beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes, and I'm going to take Drama Queen again, and I'm going to use a very small e.l.f. crease brush, and place that on the outer V, very softly. taking it two-thirds of the way in to the eye. I'm going to take the shade Cosmopolitan on a different brush and just place that right in the inner third and blend that into the darker purple. And I'm going to go back in with Coco Bear, take just a little bit of that and place that on the inner third over top of the Drama Queen just to give it some warmth and carry on to that transition that we have up top. I go ahead and take my Rimmel Scandalize in brown and place that on the waterline. I've already curled my lashes and I'm going to go ahead and apply the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. Now I'm going to be applying my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Nude Kate. And then I'm going to be using my Jordana Terra Kiss Lip Liner. I'm just going to darken up this lipstick a little bit. Okay, my loves, so this is my fall-inspired smoky eye look. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.